Hi, my name is Stephanie and I'm an Adult Services Librarian at Santa Clara City Library, Central Park. In today's Crafting from Home video, I will show you how to paint an abstract pumpkin. Let's go ahead and review the supplies that we'll need in order to create this craft. Paint in a variety of colors. I went for a cotton candy themed color palette for this video. Black and white paint. Paint brushes in a variety of sizes. A pumpkin. So as you can see, I have all of my supplies laid out in front of me. And the first thing I'm going to do is begin by covering my pumpkin in plain white paint. So I'm gonna pour out some white paint and then grab a brush and just cover the pumpkin completely. And so once my pumpkin is completely covered in white paint, I am going to let it dry completely and then come back to add my additional paint. So the next thing I'm going to do is begin covering my white pumpkin with a variety of colors. And in this case, I'm using, um, I would say medium sized brushes. Um, and I'm going to begin to add paint to my painter's palette, which I have over to the side. And like I previously mentioned, I think when it came to decorating this pumpkin, I wanted to follow a color palette, which is why I went with these colors that um, don't necessarily clash with one another. And so if there is any overlap, um, the pumpkin won't turn brown. Instead, it'll take on this cotton candy-like hue. And before getting into the painting, I just want to apologize for um, not always being able to see how I'm painting the pumpkin. Basically, I'm just doing um, single strokes of color all around it, um, up and down and to the side. So. On occasion, I do tilt the pumpkin in your direction. It's just because I am right-handed and the way that the camera was situated, it made it kind of hard to paint with my left hand. So another suggestion that I have is starting off with the lighter colors first. So in this case, I started off with the pink and then went on to the purple, then the lighter blue, and then the darkest blue. Um, this ensured that all of the colors were visible and basically I'm just building on top of one another. Um, you're always welcome to go back, but I found that this way of doing it made it easier for me to strategically place the color. Okay, so this is what my pumpkin looks like now that it has been completely covered with paint. It looks very colorful and vibrant, and we are now going to add a series of dots to the pumpkin. And again, this is just added decoration. It's to kind of highlight that modern abstract feel that we're going for. And I think the black adds a nice contrast to it, and it just elevates the pumpkin overall. Okay, so now my pumpkin is covered in color and dots, and it is now completed. I'm going to rotate the pumpkin so you can get a better idea of what it looks like all the way around. But overall, I found this project to be really therapeutic and relaxing and fun. And I didn't find it particularly challenging. In fact, um, I think it's really, really easy and you can go in so many directions with it. So I strongly encourage uh, making a pumpkin like this. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more craft and cooking tutorials online by Santa Clara City Library staff. Have a great day.